Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post. We've got a couple products in the queue for this week, so let's see what we have. First up, we've got multimeters back in stock. For those of you not familiar with our little uh, multimeter fiasco, we had a slight issue with um, the color choice on our meter. Apparently colors can be patented or trademarked more specifically. We have our new SparkFun digital multimeter and as you can see it is this nice lovely gray color with a contrasting off-white grayish. Um, this as far as we know does not interfere with anyone's trademark or copyright, so there you go. This is essentially the same meter as the one we've been carrying before. It is a great entry-level multimeter for all your measuring needs. It does all the basic stuff, resistance, voltage, and um, current. So if you're looking for a multimeter, we now have these back in stocks, and toolkits will be coming soon as well. Next up, we have a new addition to the SparkPunk lineup. This is the SparkPunk Sequencer. SparkPunk sequencer works along with the SparkPunk board, which as you can see from these headers right here, plugs into the side, and this is a 10-step audio sequencer. So you can just turn it on, hit the run button, and you see we just step through the sequences. We got the tempo, we got slide, and we have all these nice little switches and knobs and dials and all that good stuff. Nick is going to explain a little bit more in detail of how this works and actually show you how it works, um, but let me explain the kit a little bit because this does come as a kit. It comes inside this box and we open it up. And here we have all the parts. We have all the um, basic passives and some of the ICs like the resistors and caps and whatnot right there. And in, in this we have all the slide pots, some of the buttons and some of the other switches. And this is the lovely PCB right here. So this does have a few more components than we have in our standard kits, you know, something like the Simon or whatever. This is, you know, a good little project to put together. It takes a good amount of time to fully assemble one of these. So we might want to recommend maybe not the ultra beginner solder to throw one of these together, but you might want to have a little bit of soldering experience to throw one of these together. However, we do have a full guide on how to do all the assembly that walks you through all the components and getting it together. So if you do feel a little bit uncomfortable, maybe check out the guide before you buy it, and that will give you a little bit better idea of what you're in store for. Um, we also do have a hookup guide that explains how this functions and another couple little examples of things you can do with it. So let's see how it works. So I'm sure you're all waiting for an explanation. What you've just witnessed was a demo for the brand new SparkPunk sequencer. Now this is a module that adds on to the existing SparkPunk sound generator and allows you to make sequences of notes and to run those at different tempos, um, to slide between the notes, to play them at different durations, and basically to make short compositions and loops um, to get something a little more musical out of the sound generator. Um, but it has a few more tricks up its sleeve because it's basically just a sequencer for a control voltage, right? So there's no musical, uh, there's nothing about it that makes it just a musical instrument. It just plays a series of control voltages that you can adjust using these slide potentiometers. So in this case, I've actually used the control voltage out of the sequencer 
not only to run the sound on the sound generator, but to make different colors appear on this RGB matrix. The RGB matrix simply has an Arduino backpack on it that's uh, playing colors out to the screen depending on the voltage coming from the sequencer. And of course, uh, if the sequencer is running, as it steps across, it changes the colors on the screen, and if slide is turned up, then it slides sort of gradually between each of the colors. Another thing that I've done here is I've synchronized the uh, SparkPunk sequencer with my loop station. And I'm using the loop station, in this case, as a drum machine. So a lot of these guitar pedals have what's called a tap tempo, which means you can hook up another pedal to this one, and then you tap on that pedal, and it matches the tempo that you're tapping your foot at. In this case, I've actually removed the pedal from that equation, and I've replaced it with a MOSFET. If you remember, a MOSFET is basically just an electronic switch. So it's a switch that you push by giving it a voltage. And that voltage in this case is coming from the clock signal on the sequencer. So this rate LED is blink blinking at the rate of the uh, sequencer stepping. And the uh, loop station thinks that I'm just tapping the pedal at that rate. So as I adjust the tempo here, the tempo of my drum machine will follow that. <laughs>